What's up gamers? Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, we're on here playing a little bit more of Extinction, Ark Survival Survival Evolved. Oh, it's early morning Sunday. So the words aren't coming out yet, but hey, we're going to do a little bit of playing, a little bit of gaming. Uh, I don't have my, my daughter with me today, um, so we're going to do a little bit of upkeep on our house. If you remember in the last couple videos, we ended up building our nice little base place right here. I like it. I'm digging it. Uh, I've made a little bit of changes to the inside as far as adding some fireplaces, not fireplaces, uh, some forges and some workbenches and whatnot like that. So we need to do a little bit more. I figured I'd bring you with me. And then I'm thinking we might try to get one of those enforcers. I know we have one of these right here. We have this guy, but he was just a low level when we first got him. And I, I have gotten a few other blueprints and we're gonna try doing a bigger one. Also in the last episode, we tamed up this little kitty for my daughter. She really wanted this thing. Uh, we got ourselves a couple Arge Argentavises. This was the one that we used. It was a low level, I think a level 20 when we tamed it. And then we got this one on our way back. Uh, we also tamed up a um, couple dire wolves, but they stayed in the snow biome. At some point we'll bring them back here, but for right now, I think we're just gonna leave them there because you never know when you're gonna need something to ride when you go over there. Uh, as far as what we did inside, uh, we ended up putting up some storage boxes and we put in our mortar pestles, forges. Monkey, what are you doing over here, buddy? Tamed up this monkey guy. Come here, buddy. We'll pick you up. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, what I wanna get into today can we throw you? Oh, I just drank some water. There we go. Threw him to the other door. I wanted him in the middle. Apparently, we just throw him into the other door. What we're going to get into today is uh, I want to put up a fabricator. Because we need to start making a little bit of polymer. Because you need that polymer in order to make um, these enforcers. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. As a matter of fact, let's run over and check. So I'm using this little teleporter over here, this little whatever it is. I put up my uh, storage boxes over here. What is that? Oh, it's just a rock. thought it was like some sort of special thing coming up. I put up these boxes here so that I had some space for, you can see, got some crystal up in there. And if you look in here... I have these three blueprints. I have the journeyman, the the craftsman, master craft or whatever, and the ascendant. And I have everything but the polymer. So this one's going to need about 700 polymer it looks like. So yeah, uh, that's seven spots. Everything else is done. Apparently you can build them all in this thing. I could have swore when I first started playing this that you couldn't you couldn't build anything other than like the two basic ones, the blue and the, and the and the gray one. But apparently now you can build all of them because we only need seven more spots. So there's three, four, five, six, seven right here would be done. Uh, you could also use those nodules or whatever, the, the ones that you get from the corrupted dinos. But we don't have enough spaces for that. So we actually have to build our fabricator so we can start getting into a little bit of polymer, which... I don't know where obsidian is. I did find some when I was out running around, just messing around, found some a while ago. But I have no idea where I got it from. So we're going to have to do that too. And uh, that's going to be a pain in the butt. So if you guys know where you can find obsidian, let me know. At least in the comments. Uh, we're going to end up trying to find a little bit today because I do want to try getting into that enforcer. But if you have a good spot to go to, you let me know. Also, uh, the cementing paste, I know you can make it in your mortar and pestle, but we found all these from the uh, beaver dams. There's a couple over by the fake obelisk in the middle of the, the map over there on that side. And then there was some right over here by us, but they haven't spawned back, obviously, because we're around here too much, I guess. Um, but before we do that, let's get into the fabricator. What do we need here? Crafting. It looks like we got everything we need, huh? 
Okay, well, let's craft that bad boy up. Cementing paste, crystal, metal ingots, oil, and spark powder. Yep, we had enough for that. We're going to throw that in our inventory. I think we're going to put it down right next to our uh, smithies here. So let's drop that. Looks like it's a pretty good spot right here, right? Right in between the door and the smithy. Now, what I like about this game now is you can actually pick stuff up. I can see it going into the wall back there. Watch. See, it's in the wall back there. At least on the right side. So if you don't get it perfect the first time, you can always pick it up and try again, you know? So let's uh, bag it up, bag it up right there. So it looks good right there. Yeah. Drop that down. Yeah, it will look good. It's like right up against the wall, just like where we want it. I also was crafting up a little bit of gasoline. And in order to do that, you need hide and oil. So we got ourselves some gasoline to be able to start up our machine here. Components, in order to craft polymer, we're going to need obsidian and cementing paste. Like I said, we haven't found a lot of it, but I can make cementing paste. Not a big deal. I'm going to take all this out of here for right now, though. We're going to just use the ones that we have. And like I said, I did get a little bit of obsidian, so we're going to throw that in. And we're going to see how many we can actually make. We need 700 just to do the one enforcer. And I don't think I have enough to do 700. Maybe 350 I can get. No, right here. I think right here. There we go. We don't want any of that charcoal. And I don't know what that spoiled meat's doing in there. Whatever. No big deal. Let's throw these guys in here. Go to components. Oh, we gotta turn this guy on first, don't we? Yeah. This is craft all. Looks like we're gonna get 300, almost 400, I guess. So we need another 300. Ooh. Yeah, that might be a problem. But what we're gonna do is, uh, I guess I'm gonna take a break. Try to find some more obsidian, see if I can't craft up uh, the 700 that we need, and I'll be Arby's. All right, peeps. Hey, welcome back. Yeah, um, so if you're looking for obsidian, let's take a look here. I'm down here in this corner, and I finally found some. It's not easy to find, I can tell you that. It blends in like all of the other rocks. I mean, it is a little bit easier to tell. Uh, see, one on the left here is not obsidian. One on the right is obsidian. The problem is, where I'm at right now, man, there are a lot of baddies. A lot of baddies, man. A lot of corrupted. A lot of just garbage people trying to kill me. I don't like it. So, yeah, we need to find a lot of this obsidian. I think that was only one rock. Uh, we do have the the um numbers turned up a little bit on my private server here so that we don't have to sit here and and farm and farm and farm so pretty much <clears throat> just need to find a couple of them that'll give me uh enough to be able to make the 700 polymer that we need in order to get that enforcer but yeah this is a pain in the butt man i've been flying around see this rock right here i thought was one but these rocks give you oil uh, take a look at these guys. They're actually pretty cool. They kind of have like a glimmer to them. It kind of looks like there's oil coming out of the rock. Yep, you hit those, they give you some oil. Oil and stone, but we're looking for obsidian. And it's not easy to find, I can tell you that. That one rock right there is the only one that I've found so far. But after doing a little bit of research, I ended up uh, saying ended up saying that there was a whole bunch of them over here. I'm just not seeing them. Is that one over here? No, that's a piece of wood. I wonder if that has, like, charcoal wood. Uh, another thing is I don't have any water with me. So, yeah. If we start running out of water, we're going to have to fly away. But this is where I found uh, the a few pieces of obsidian. Oh, man, it's going to be a pain in the butt. But we're going to get it done, peeps, because that's what we do. So I'll be our bees. All right. Well, we ended up finding a lot more obsidian. Uh, what I can tell you, though, 
is this obsidian is a hot commodity, dude. There's just limited resources in the areas that are easy to get to. So if you find yourself a little a little node of obsidian, I would suggest you hoard that. Do not block the spawn. Just get yourself a little base that's kind of close to it so that you can take it whenever you need it. Because this stuff is rare, it seems like. Oh, what are you jumping on there for, man? Uh, we do have enough, I think, to be able to finish up for our polymer. Uh, I'm taking a quick look around. I do want to show you where this one's located. Here's the snow biome. If you look here, what am I, about uh, 25 by 55? 25 by 55 in this little area. End up finding a lot of it. Um, a lot more than any other area that I've been in. Uh, usually you find one, two, maybe three. This one has like ten. And just this little five by five area or ten by ten area. Uh, yeah, oh, this is probably the best place that I've found to get that obsidian. And like I said, this stuff seems super rare for some reason. What level? Oh, it's a pteranodon. I thought you were one of those uh, enforcers. Get wrecked pteranodon. Um, so I'm just going to take a quick look around again just to make sure that I've got as much as possible. But yeah, man, that was crazy. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go get back to our base. Uh, we might need to make up a little bit more um, cementing paste, too. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, we're, I'm guessing around 350 of the polymer made already. We're going to need another 350. Hopefully we have enough obsidian. Hopefully we have enough cementing paste. Uh, this is going to be fun, though. I can't wait to get this enforcer. It's a lot of work, but I think it's going to be awesome. All right, we'll be right back. It's here. It's finally arrived. The moment I've all been waiting for. The chance to get an ascendant enforcer. We finally got the final pieces of our polymer, and there it is. They're all lit up. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. Let's see what we needed here. So we have the 1,200 crystal out of 1,113 that need, that's needed. Uh, element dust, we have 12,000 out of the 11,137 that is needed. Metal, 1,400 out of the 1,335 or 36. Oil, 500 of the 445. Polymer, 677 of the 668 needed. We finally get it. The Ascendant Enforcer. Let's craft her up. Oh no, I picked it out of the inventory. No! How do we craft it? Uh, square. Craft that bad boy. Is that going to use the blueprint? I think there's only... Oh no, we still have the blueprint? No, that's not a blueprint anymore. That's the Enforcer. The blueprint does disappear once you use it. And look at just... A little bit of scrap left basically there we go let's get this enforcer ascendant enforcer that's amazing let's take a look at this guy here uh, health is 75% stamina 50% energy 40% weight 50% damage 70% I'm guessing what that is is it's uh, above what uh, say the the gray one would be which would be what the the primitive i think those are bonuses so you have the the base stat for the primitive and then the health is 75 percent above the base stat but i think we've got to put it into our hot bar here and uh let's just go like that boom tame the enforcer now we got to figure out a name for this guy i mean he looks pretty ba doesn't he he does look pretty sweet i like him I like him. All right, so let's uh, think of a name for him. But he, what's great is this guy runs off uh, element dust. So we don't have to give him any food. So here's the, the stats on it. We have 3,865 health. We have 1,845 stamina. Energy is 2,699. I'm not entirely sure what the energy is for. I'm thinking that's... That's probably his food. 
as the energy goes down then he'll use more of that dust in order to get the energy back weight is at 1632 and melee damage is at 1786 movement speed 100 uh, percent let's take a look at this guy he's got three little zips already if you hit your l l2 button i thought maybe that they would go further if it was an ascended apparently not but you hit your l2 hold it down you can pick a spot where you want to zip to and zip. there you go a little teleportation action we have an r2 hit like that He's already got a level up. So R1 doesn't do anything. No. Ooh, R3. I don't know what that is. But apparently you don't get too many of them. It, there's a cooldown, obviously, on it. Yeah. Interested to see what the R3 does. I never tried doing that before. It has like a little, I don't know, like a shield thing? I don't know. Uh, what's great about this guy also, look at him. Look at him go. Come on, jump up there, buddy. You know you want to. They're supposed to be able to climb. Why am I not? And I'm not moving very fast for some reason. I feel like I'm slowed. There we go. So you can jump up on things. They can climb. It's pretty cool. I don't, there's a little sketchy at, at times, though. Like, do I just walk up it? No, you got to jump. So you jump on the wall, walk up here. Next thing, does it take fall damage? It's a long way. Let's go. Uh, uh, no, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it takes fall damage. It does use a ton of dust, though, which is fine. I don't mind it using dust. So all you got to do is come out here. See this lamppost? Boom, element dust. Now he's full again. I like it. I like it. I love the Enforcer. We're going to go out and kill some things, but uh, like I was saying earlier, this is a modded server. Not really modded. What it is is it's my own private server, and I'm able to change the values of things. So what? since I'm the only one on it, I, I bump a lot of the stuff. Oh, what's up? What's up, guy? It's over for you, copy. I bump a lot of the stuff so that it's... You can tame faster, and I'm able to basically do almost everything in the game by myself. So when I hit uh, health here, you watch it jump up quite a bit. Boom, 10,000. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. I don't think this thing has too much defense, so we're going to need a lot of health. Say 25,000. That's good. Stamina, I don't know if that does anything for stamina, and we also need to bump the melee, but I figured that health is the most important for right now. He's got to be able to survive, especially since it doesn't have a saddle, and the saddle gives you that bonus protection. Oh, we don't need to eat that. You don't give us anything. So we're going to try to stay away from collecting the meat and stuff on this guy, just because I'm going to end up dropping it anyway. Get the element dust so that he can eat. We got another level up. We're going to get a few more and then um, probably pump it into the melee so that this guy's a, a one-hit quitter. I still need to think of that name, though. If you guys have a good name for an enforcer, man, you let me know. I mean, I think maybe like a renegade of some sort. An outlaw enforcer. Hmm. I don't know, maybe we'll go Wild West style because we have been playing a little bit of Red Dead Redemption. We can think of, maybe we can name him Arthur. Arthur the Enforcer. That might be a good one. A little homage to uh, the Red Dead 2. <coughs> Excuse me, I keep hitting the wrong button to jump off of. I've been playing Fallout recently and Fallout is Triangle in order to jump so I hit triangle to jump on this guy and it keeps kicking me off so how many levels do we have now wrong button again square you got five more levels let's see what we get here um, I think if we pump it into melee damage we might get some more teleportations I'm not sure uh, we also need a little bit of movement speed because this guy is rather slow. One more. There we go. 12% 12, 12 extra. That's a lot better. 
doesn't seem noticeable, but it is very noticeable in the game. A little bit of extra speed goes a long way. Look at these guys. Little scavengers, get out of here. Get out of here, scavengers. I don't want to go back out into the wasteland just yet. I feel like this guy needs to heal up before. You know what we can do? I think the snow owl does healing. So if we go home and maybe jump on the snow owl, I don't know if it heals just itself or if it heals everything around it. We could always give that a try. Heal it up that way and then come back out and do a little bit of fighting. These things are supposed to be pretty beast against corrupted. I want to take it out and test it out. So maybe I'm going to heal it up and then we'll go out and test it against some corrupted and see what happens. All right, so we want to give this a shot here. Uh, we got the snow owl that's supposed to be able to heal. I want to see how much healing it does. So we're sitting at roughly 6,300 health, maybe a little bit more. Oh, let's land. If you hold down your L2 button, he freezes. The snow owl does the freeze. And it does look like they're healing. But you can see, yeah, you can see the green glow on them and the little plus for the healing. So I'm going to let this uh, stamina wear all the way down. And hopefully this is going to give them a lot of health. Hopefully. Um, I don't know what's going to happen, to tell you the truth. I'm not entirely sure. So let's go all the way down. Come on, let's go. I like how the screen frosts up. That's pretty sweet. I like that. They did an excellent job with some of the graphics and all the attributes or whatever you can do with your with your dinos on these new ones. So the stamina has run out and he automatically stops healing. That's pretty cool. So is that what 62 did I say or 63 and it gets it up to 94. So 3000 per. This is also a good way that to get um, these little pellets. If you use this guy's stamina. Oh, his stamina is already back up. Man, that regens fast. But uh, usually when you use the stamina, they have to eat, which makes them have to poop. But he poops out his mouth, which is pretty gross, if you ask me. But he poops these little pellets, and you pick those up. And apparently those are to tame another animal in this game, which we need to get into too. It's called the gotcha, or something like that. And the gotchas, I guess they poop um, blueprints. And we need to get one of those tamed up so we can get a few blueprints. How's your food looking, man? Your food is super low. I might have to get you a little bit more meat, huh? Come here, Mr. Rex man. What do you think names for all these dinos? If you guys have any good names, man, let me know in the comments. It'd be awesome. I'm still trying to uh, get names to these things so that maybe there's a little bit more attachment to them. So that when they die, I don't feel so bad. Or I feel, I feel even worse. I mean, I guess it's a way to... I don't know, have some sort of relationship with these dinos so that they're not just another animal in my group. They're a part of my family. Without a name, they're they're dispensable. I just, you know, I, I need to put a name on them so that I can say, hey, this is my dino. I'm going to take care of it. But as long as there's no name, I'm just kind of like, meh, whatever. I'll get another one. So, uh, yeah, let's think of some names. So I'm going to finish healing this guy up, and then we're going to go out and take on some Corrupted. All right, let's take it out and see if we can't kill a few Corrupted. Um, I did pump a few points into weight just so that when I start fighting things... Well, I'm not even looking at the right thing. So when I start fighting things that I don't get encumbered. But other than that, uh, we just had whatever we showed on, on the previous part. So we've only put about 15 levels into them. We're going to see how well it does against corrupted dinos. We just need to find them. They're usually all out here. And I wanted to go against something maybe a little more dangerous. Like these guys, I don't think they're going to be too difficult. Yeah, level 50 Diplo, not big, or Dillo, not a big deal. There's another level up for us. But, ooh, there's a Rex. What level are you, Rex? You are a 25. Think we can take it? I think we can. 
Oh, here's another Dillo. Get out of here, Dillo. You're on my nerves. All right, come here. Ah. Two swipes. Ended up killing us our corrupted T-Rex. We need to find something bigger. We need something bigger. We are a level 100, as it as you know it says, so... This Stego's not going to be a big deal. Come here, Stego. Uh, you're done. You're done. Uh, Pteranodons are going to be a pain in the butt, so I'm not going to really mess with them too much. But I do want to find, like, a Spino. Maybe a high-level Spino. There's a Trike. Um, anything over here? I don't see anything. Figures when you're looking for... Uh, a corrupted dino, you never find them. There's another T-Rex. That's not corrupted, though. You're Dillo. We are overheating. Man, it's hot. It is hot. We're going to start losing health quick. Ooh, a level 60 Rex takes a little bit longer. Three swipes. Oh, there's a Pteranodon and a Trike. Stay away from that. What do we got down here? Let's go! Ah, oh yeah. You get wrecked, son. Jump, jump. This is cool. I like this guy. This guy's a lot of fun. Right, it looks like a Carno down there. A couple Carnos. Maybe they're mate boosted. Ooh, that hurt a little bit, I guess. What was that? I couldn't see. Level 15, Carno. Nah. Nah. Not strong enough. Oh, what do we got here? Spino. Corrupted Spino. Come here, buddy. Level 15. Man, there's nothing... No big levels. I wanted to take on something like a level 100 Spino or... T-Rex or something. Got to watch my health, too. Whoop. Ah, get stuck. What do we got over here? Looks like a Stego. Are they corrupted? They are corrupted. Corrupted Stegos. Um, come here. Get some. A 150 corrupted Stego. We one-shot it. That's awesome. And there's only like three, four points pumped into melee. Yeah, this Ascendant Enforcer is amazing. So I don't see anything else that's... Oh, should we take it? Should we take on a Giga? Should we take on a Giga? No, we can't take on a Giga yet. Giga would, I think, instantly destroy us. Okay, there's a Trike. Drop the trike. You're dead. You're dead. Another corrupted trike. He's dead. Jump over that log. No. Get stuck on the log. That makes sense. Corrupted stego. Yeah, there's not too many super bad hombres. I was expecting. Oh, there's a Rex. He's not corrupted, so we're going to leave him alone. We may want to tame him later. How about this guy? How about this defender over here? wonder how we can do against the defender. Two hits to kill uh, Megaloceros. Level 115 defender. Took, what, five hits? Four hits? That's pretty cool. Are you, I wonder if you're supposed to take these into that area that has all of the wyverns and the gigas. I wonder if this is the guy. Oh no, spiders! Get out of here, spiders! Is that T-Rex corrupted? I don't know if he is or not. They're already aggressive, so you can't really tell. Until you get close. No, it doesn't look like he's got any purple on him. Come here. The fighter over there. Three hits. He was only a 15. That was easy. Oh, Stego! Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, get out of the way. There's a Spino. Be a high level Spino. 
45. Level 45 Corrupted Spino. Come here, guys. Oh, yeah, one shot. That's awesome. All right. So we had a pretty good episode today, if you ask me. We ended up uh, getting our enforcer built. And we ended up finding a good spot for Obsidian. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. If you're new and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. Yeah. All right, peeps, take it easy.